high betting experts on Bank Holiday Monday, the 29th of August. A really busy day ahead. We're off to Epsom. The ground drying out all the time. We had a lot of rain at the back end of last week, but it's dried up quickly and the forecast is unusually set fair for a bank holiday. Sure to be a huge crowd on the downs. We start off with our betting expert daily nap in the 205. This is the Garden Cider Star Handicap. A six furlong class four for three-year-olds only. Over £6,000 to the winner. And I think that Charlie Hills is finale can return to turf with a success under Frankie McDonald. Now, he's won one of his eight career starts, three times in the frame. He's pretty reliable form. He's only run three times on turf, so he's completely unexposed, really, and he comes here at the top of his game. He was a good winner at Wolverhampton back in May, and he's run well in defeat since. Now, some will have him pegged as an all-weather performer, and in fact, he ran really well at Southall last time, which couldn't be any different to Epsom, but uh, he's in good form, and he caught my eye on a turf run at Nottingham earlier in the summer and finishing fifth in a small field there over five furlongs which was an inadequate test for him finishing with running left in the tank so I'm not worried about fast turf hopefully he'll enjoy a bit of luck in running and pick these off late there is a lot of early pace in the lineup our betting expert value angle selection runs in the 315 this is the garden cider elite handicap a seven furlong class three for three-year-olds and upwards ten thousand three hundred pounds to the winner and a good chance for Laura Mongans Bowman to register another win over this course and distance. Now he's a bold front runner. He goes especially well here. He sprang an 80 to 1 shock earlier in the summer and also ran an absolute screamer over six furlongs when just touched off on the line by Puerto de Vega. Couple of runs since not round here, but he ran okay at Ascot last time. That wouldn't be his track weakening at the furlong pole, having gone with his usual zest. I'm hopeful Tom Markand, who's a very eye-catching jockey booking, can get him across onto the far rail and make all the running. This track out in front on fast ground out the way not rolling around on the camber in behind trying to close from off the pace is the optimum ride and i think bowman can go in again best of luck on bank holiday monday betting experts